with Tudor Rodman, who is uh, campaigning for county commissioner here in Sevier County. And we thought we'd ask Tudor a few questions about the way he sees uh, the, the future of the county and some of the things that are contributing to the, uh, to the state of public policy such as it exists here in Sevier County. Um, Tudor, you uh, have indicated that, that uh, some of the people that you've been speaking with have shown some disappointment and even some uh, uh, concern about the conflicts that we've been experiencing here in the county over the past few years. What specifically have you gleaned from the, the people here in Sevier County? Well, going out and talking to the people in the, in the various counties and towns, uh, a lot of the comments that I'm getting is they would like to see uh, more transparency in, uh, in our county government. Seems like there's not a, a big communication there with uh, and, uh, the different towns. I know that's one of the things that a lot of people are concerned about is if they don't uh, seem like they are involved in, in what is really happening here in the county. Um, also, uh, I'm hearing also that a lot of people are, are disgruntled and upset because of uh, some of the things that uh, have not happened or should have happened in the last 10 years. Um, whether you were opposed or for, uh, this uh, conflict we have with the with the power plant, um, it, it has fractured our, our county and our community, and we now need to try to get a healing back into the communities and, and uh, start focusing a little bit on on what people's ideas are for us going forward and and being able to work together with the county government and uh, being involved with the county government. We need, we need their ideas and we need uh, to work together. Have the conflicts that you describe and have witnessed and, and have discussed with some of the people in our county, have they tended to, uh, to create some sort of detachment by the voters in our county or, or are they normally timid about uh, expressing their opinions? Uh, a little bit on one on one when I'm out uh, visiting uh, people at their homes and various things I I tend to get a little bit more uh, the kind of response that I would like to hear and, and not as much in the group uh, groups tend to be a little more sheltered about what they're saying what they what they uh, want but uh, they are they are disgruntled and uh, they want to see us go forward and uh, as a county and so as a result, yeah, I think they want to see some good ideas coming forward. They want to know and understand where where are we headed in the county, and what can we we do as a, as, a, as a county. Have, have there been uh, has there been a, a feeling from the voters that there've been secrets withheld from them on the part of uh, officials that have normally been working in the county and and are paid for by the the county uh, pay on the county payroll. Well, I think it could be uh, there again, lack of communication uh, from the uh, elected officials, as well as uh, people not being informed and asking the questions. And uh, I think there again, it needs to be an open book. We need to have more accountability and more transparency in our in our local government. I know my personal experience was when I arrived here. Um, some six years ago uh, involved the fact that, that it, it, it was pretty much discouraged. Participation and, in, and, and questioning what was going on and even attempting to find out what was going on was pretty much discouraged. Do you think that, that attitude still exists on the part of uh, our county government today? Oh, I, I think so in some regards and we need to change that. Uh, people are disgruntled and uh, they, they certainly want to have that changed. I think they, as we see things in the community and our economic growth here in the valley, I think they want to have some input. And I think uh, where I'm uh, running as a, a commissioner, uh, I'm working for the people. And so, sure, they need to have input. They definitely need to be involved in the decision making that goes on. Since you declared your candidacy, how many meetings, uh, you know, closely held 
intimate meetings have you been able to uh, to participate in where you've been a where you felt that you've been able to get the um, the attitudes and and expressions directly from the voters? How many would you? Well, I've I've been to uh, several of the uh, town meetings uh, and uh, talked to a lot of the, the folks in the town hall meetings. I have talked to uh, various uh, organizations. Uh, I do have a couple more yet to come. Uh, the Rotary Club and also the Lions Clubs. Uh, I have talked to the fire departments throughout the communities and they've expressed their concerns and, uh, and some of the things that, you know, some of the more, more uh, directed toward them and the fire departments and looking at it as the county. And that's what, what we need to do. And, and as you've been able to do that, what do you, uh, what themes emerge that seem to be the most critical for the county at this point? Well, right now, I, I think we need to uh, focus on uh, what we are spending in our budget. We need to look at our budgets. Um, if we, I, I think we're going to be upon leaner times. Uh, I certainly think that uh, we need to say no maybe a little bit more maybe not put quite as much out there and just keep saying yes and yes. Um, in, in order to have the things, we are spoiled very much here in the county. We, we like our services, we like those things that we have, and in order to have those services, we need to, need to generate more tax revenue. In order to do that, we need more, more business. And uh, so I am all for about business growth. But we need to be also very careful about what we're, what we're bringing to our valley and make sure that everybody's on the same page, that we don't end up with uh, conflicts uh, as we go down, down the road with the community in, in looking at different businesses. And, and recently, the Reaper ran a story about economic development in our county, and the focus of that story seemed to be pretty much industrial. But I know that you have a, a significant agricultural background, and I was wondering how you see the combination of those two forces for business development? Well, I think we need to continue to, to uh, <clears throat> keep our agricultural ground. Uh, let's, if, we're, if we are going to have industrial, let's try to put the industrial in areas that aren't greatly going to impact right in the middle of our agricultural uh, areas. Uh, there's plenty of areas out there that we can uh, we could certainly put industry in. We've got uh, our uh, our places here in Salina, uh, we've got places in Richfield, we've got industrial parks. I'm not seeing it. We need a great big giant Goliath here in the valley. I just think we need to generate growth. Uh, we need to have constant growth, growth that uh, is going to be healthy. Uh, we need to continue to be growing, but we don't certainly don't need giant industry. Tudor, one of the things that you've discussed throughout your campaign is uh, our need as a county to pull together. What do you mean by that? Well, we need to have more communication with uh, the uh, people in the South South Severe area. We need more communication with the people in the, in the Richfield area, uh, in the North Severe area. We, we have to go back to the, to the concept here that uh, we are the county. And uh, I, I keep referring to uh, we will either grow together or we will fail together. And we basically need to look at this as a whole county thing. There may be certain things that we can put in the north that the south is not interested in having. Maybe things in, in, the, in the middle here in Richfield areas that, uh, you know, the north's not interested in having. There's different things that we can do in, in these different areas in order to uh, try to pull this together. But we definitely need to pull together as a community and also as a county. And I know that you've been very good throughout the campaign uh, about your own personal outreach with the voters and the people of the county, but how would you uh, encourage them to uh, to reach you, and how to how to how would you encourage them to reach out and and participate more in their county government? Well, I think they they, they can certainly reach me at, uh, at my my house. Uh, my my home phone is four three five eight nine six six three one zero. I have an email address uh, that's Tudor O. 57 at yahoo.com. I have a website right now, but uh, there's two, three ways you can get hold of me, and, and uh, we certainly need to talk. Um, it, 
when I become your county commission, I, I certainly want to keep these doors open. Uh, we need to, as a community and as a county, need to go together. We need to solve these problems. Our economic uh, downturn here, we need to, it, it's not going to be three commissioners here that, that that uh, do this all by themselves. There's 21,000 people in this county and we need the input from from the people in the county and that's how we're going to go forward. So you would say more participation on the part of, of the individual voter and taxpayer is a key towards our success in the future? Oh absolutely, absolutely. I think that's very very crucial and very important that we have input from from all walks of life. Tudor, you've been very effective in getting people to understand how they can participate more in public policy matters here in this county. What else would you like them to do specifically to, to be more involved and to take an active role in the way our county is headed? Well, if they like what they hear and they want to uh, be involved with my campaign, they can certainly uh, call me. Uh, I, I need all the help I can get as far as uh, flyers. People want to put out flyers. People want to get information out to people. They need to know the candidate. In order to know the candidate, they need to be involved. And uh, how do you vote on somebody if you don't know the candidate? So I would encourage them if, if uh, they want to be involved in this uh, and be involved in the campaign effort, they need to, they can call me, they can email me. And so if they want to be involved in the uh, campaign efforts. Uh, I'd greatly be uh, appreciative of that. Uh, there's still a long ways to go. Tudor, I want to thank you for being with us today and we hope that you might be able to spend a little bit more time with us on some of the other matters that you've learned about here in the county and the things that are important to you that you found out about from the people and we hope people will be able to tune back in at uh, some of our future conversations with Tudor Ogden and others as we approach the November 2nd election.